It's time to plan for a wedding. We know you're excited and so are we. We're going to show you how to build a wedding planner form and a guest form using AI and ChatGPT. This way it's going to help us build a form specifically for our needs. So if there's something specific that we need, ChatGPT is gonna help us and suggest us what elements we need to add to our wedding forms. So let's go check this out. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the AI power of ChatGPT to plan for your wedding. Now, this is Job Form, but we're going to jump into ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a free AI system that you can use, and we're going to get started by asking it a simple question What type of online form would I need for planning a wedding on Job Form? Let's hit enter, and it's going to start writing for us, and it's going to give us suggestions with using AI to let us know what type of forms we need. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so ChatGPT just finished writing and it gives us five type of forms that we might need for planning a wedding. It takes out all the guesswork for us. Now it's giving us an example of the RSVP form, the guest information form, the vendor information form, wedding party information form, and the seating chart form. And it gives us, it gives us a detail of what these forms are for. And if we have doubts of what these forms are for, we can go ahead and ask ChatGPT for it. But in this case, we're gonna work with the RSVP form to get started. So what elements do we need for the RSVP form? Okay, I go ahead and ask the first question and it's gonna help us with the elements that we need. For example, the event details. That's the first thing that we need to add. So it's included date, time, location, wedding, as well as any other relevant information. And the RSVP options provide a clear option for guests to indicate whether they will be attending, not attending, or undecided. And guest information, additional questions, and the submit button to finish. Now, this is the first draft of a form that would, anyone would need. So it's the basic questions. But what if we want to get more specific, or more personal? We can ask ChatGPT, so for example, what if I have limited seating? Okay, what elements should I add to my form? Hit enter and it's gonna give us suggestions based on that. So if you have limited seating at your wedding, you'll want to include some additional elements in your RSVP form to help manage your guest list. Here are some of the suggestions. So for example, it's asking for an RSVP deadline. Make sure you indicate a clear RSVP deadline to give guests plenty of time to respond. This way, obviously, you can plan better, okay? The guest count limit, include a field where guests can indicate how many people will be attend attending with them, etc. Priority guest list, wait list, a clear instruction. Make sure instructions for responding to the RSVP are very clear. Now, those are the elements that the form should have. But what if we need to add a message? All right, it just finished writing and it gives us this message. We're so excited to celebrate our wedding day with you. However, due to limited seating, we kindly ask that you RSVP as soon as possible, etc. And it takes out that guesswork for us or how to be um, polite or something like that. But let's just say that that wasn't polite enough. Well, let's tell it to be more polite. All right, now I need it to be more polite. And we're asking it, oh, of course, AI is gonna do it for us. Thank you so much for being a part of our special day. As we plan for our wedding celebration, we want to make sure that all our guests have, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it, it's, make, it's being more polite. And if you need it to be more polite, you can go ahead and ask it. And if you need it to be more direct, it'll write the message for you. And it's, it's super easy. Here we go. And here we go, we got our message. We don't have to break our heads and starting to think, what we should write for this. Now, what if we have other specific needs for our wedding? There could be other situations. For example, let's just say that the wedding is far away and we need to pay for expenses for some of the guests because they might not be able to make it due to expenses. So let's add a field for this. Okay, so I just wrote down this message. What if the wedding is far away and I need to pay for some of the, the, the guest expenses? What fields and message should I add? Let's click enter and it's gonna tell us. So as we go along with this and we follow what ChatGPT is telling us, we can start building the form based on the elements that it's giving us suggestions. So, and we can even ask it, how, what are the steps to add these elements? And it'll provide it for us. 
So right now, it's writing this message and it's giving us options. For example, we can add a field for tra transportation needs, include a field for guests to indicate if they will need transportation to and from the wedding venue, accommodation preferences, payment options, additional expenses, and a message to guests. So here's the message that it's writing for us. And then also wrote the message that we need. So for example, here it is. We are thrilled to have you join us on our special day. As we celebrate our wedding, we want to make sure that guests have a comfortable and enjoyable experience. We understand that our wedding is far away and we want to make it easier for you to attend. We will cover the cost of transportation, etc. Now, if you need something that, you know what, we won't cover all, the, all expenses or a mix of expenses, again, we can go ahead and tell the ChatGPT to rewrite this message based on those needs. Now, what if we have more specific needs? You can go ahead and add them here and ask it. And based on this, we can start building our form. We can go ahead and create it. We can use a template and customize it based on what we need. So it could be simpler. So for example, so we can go ahead and select, for example, RSVP form and make it simpler. For example, if I want to use this one, use a template and then work with the fields that I need for my specific needs. So we have the basics here. It's the full name, email, phone number, number for people attending, etc. But like I mentioned before, we might need more specific questions, specific messages, etc. And we can start building it. Now, that is for the wedding planner. What about a guest form? So let's ask it for one. So for example, what about the guest form? Okay, and here we go. Now, if we're creating a guest form, we're going to need these type of fields. Now, you might say it's kind of similar, but no, this is more specific to each individual guest. So it might change what we need. So for example, you can see there's the plus one information, gift registry, and additional notes. Now, if you are not sure what the difference is, again, you can ask ChatGPT. But in this case, we're gonna ask, we're gonna tell them that there's a dress code. So let's go ahead and add that field to it. So what is it going to suggest us? Let's go ahead and ask it. All right, so we just go ahead and ask, what if there is a dress code for the wedding? So what's going to happen? What should I do? And it's gonna tell us. If you have a specific dress code for your wedding, you may want to include a field for your guest information form, which would be the following, you know, the dress code. Include a field where you can specify the dress code for your wedding, such as black tie, semi-formal, or beach casual. Attire option, include a drop-down menu with options that correspond to the dress code, such as tuxedo, cocktail dress, dressy casual, beach attire. Additional instructions, a reminder message, and so on and so forth. Now, what if we want to reinforce this message? You know, sometimes sometimes people don't follow the dress code or they might say, hey, I forgot about it. What if we set a reminder? So let's just say, let's ask it. Okay, so here's the question that I'm going to ask it. A dress code is really important for me. What can I do in job form to remind guests? Let's hit enter and see what it's going to suggest us for us. Here we go. And here we have the response with the options that it's going to give us. Create your form first, create your RSVP or guest information form and include the fields for the dress code. Okay, we've done that. That's what we need. Create an autoresponder email. Job form allows you to automatically send an email to guests after they submitted your form. To do this, create an autoresponder. So that's another option. Customize the message or to, and test your form. I mean, that's the option for the last one. But what if we want specific needs for this? Like, give me the details of what I need to do. So let's go ahead and ask it. Now it's going to tell us step by step what we need to do to add an autoresponder email. So it even tells you log in from step one, click on the settings, click on add new email, select autoresponder, customize the email subject, test the email. If everything looks good, click save button, etc. So remember, log in, click on the settings, click on the add new email. So once we're in the form, go in the settings, go into emails, add an email. And then it's going to tell us, what is it? Autoresponder, here it is. And step-by-step, step, doing it just like it tells us. So it's super easy to do with these suggestions that ChatGPT is providing us. It saves us time, it saves us from thinking what we need to do in a wedding, especially if there's so much going on. Well, this is going, this is going to help us, but we can do more. What if we need a form for seating arrangement? Let's go ahead and ask it. Okay, we just asked it, here we go. And now it gives us a response for this and it's given us what we need, a guest name, the table number, the seat number, the meal preferences, additional notes, 
etc. If I want to be more specific, again, I can be more specific by asking certain questions and it's going to provide us the response with the fields that we're, we're going to need. Uh, I can even tell it, I need it to be more specific and it's going to give us more fields for this. Okay, now we got the response for this and it actually added this one, which is really important. Relationship. So are they friends, family, or colleagues? This wasn't here, so you can see that there. And that's a pretty uh, important question, especially if you are arranging seatings, because you don't wanna sit specific people with other people, etc. Basically, you wanna sit family together, friends in another table, other type of friends, or your husband friends, or your wife friends, and this is going to help you arrange it and the RSVP status. So if you want to know if they're attending or not, so we have all those fields. Remember, job form has job form tables. So every time that the form is filled out, you're going to have this table where it's going to be a nice clean look for your needs. So for example, let me show you this in job form. We can go ahead and go into this one consultation. We'll go into the submissions and it's going to take us to job form tables. And we're gonna have a nice clean look of all the information that we receive. So when you have your wedding form, you're gonna have all the information here. For example, for the guests who are going to attend, not attend, etc. And we can create different type of views for your specific needs. If you need a card to view each individual guest by cards, you can just do so by doing it here. So for example, and I'll do this one, consultation. We select the fields that we want to view in the card. So we don't have to have everything. Maybe you just want the name and email or the phone number, etc., and we can view it in card mode. So it's really useful for planning weddings. But that is how you're going to use the power of AI, ChatGPT, to start planning for your wedding using job form to build your forms. We thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new tutorials and videos come out. And that's a wrap.